Here I want to introduce what is growing here. Um, I love Good and Plenty. So I have a bunch of these boxes and I've been saving them. This one here is sort of a new design. I decided to put together scavenger hunt books for kids in the neighborhood. I goofed up on Christmas this year. I couldn't figure out what I wanted to give everybody that was sort of the same but different. So first I started thinking about and just two of these as gifts. And I thought, you know what? This will be a nice gift for all of the kids. I'll give it to them Valentine's or something like that. So they started out as just a single layer one, which now I have in the inside. I decided to really double layer the whole book before I put any um, signatures in, which are all going to be put in with rubber bands. Uh, I think I already made a little bit of a tape of this. There's, I take the one side of this off and put it on the inside for the spine. But this is one that I had cut the spine in, the uh, not the spine, but the other side of the box in half on. And what I'm going to do is with the boxes I have now, I'm going to save. I'm going to save them like this, and then glue this down, and then put something inside that makes it a little bit puffy, like a padded cover. Um, some kind of um, paper that is going to be thrown away. Maybe the inside of a a napkin or something like that. Like, oh, I know what. Baby wipes. They will not attract silverfish. I'm going to stick a little baby wipe in there. like that I think fold it better and then put it in and that gives it a nice kind of padding yeah so use baby wipes because this is all about recycling this this baby wipe hasn't been used enough yet okay. and this is stays on ink that I wiped off of my stamp so this is not going to come off on anything inside there Let's just use this as the prototype. Ooh. I don't know if that makes any sense or not. But I was thinking like sponge something, but not anything I would have to buy to put in there. Anyway, and then the little insides are two and a half by six. And I'm going to put some different kinds of paper in, as well as, uh oh, this one's too tall. No, it isn't. It's just right. As well as suggestions of things to find. And since these are kids, looking at find some uh, make a page of triangles find things that are triangles and make a, a page of those or find things that are squares for another page um, find you know just scraps find things that are red find birds, find fish. I don't know what all I'm going to use for cues. And then I thought, well, I can also put a little stamp in the corner to indicate whatever they think. <laughs> Cars, right? And I just thought it would be interesting to put a bunch of them out around here and see what the different responses might be. If there are any, this might be too complicated for 
for kids because it's it's something that you just kind of carry around and work on so it probably takes parental involvement as well of like okay let's go scavenger hunting what other things are we looking for postage stamp long flat things like ribbons or strips Anyway, that, that's that. That's just a little start on those. So I have a bunch of them cut and ready to go. Uh, they've been on sale at Ralph's lately for a dollar a box. Okay. Now here, when we get ready to glue this padding in, I don't know if I'll do this for all of them, to 
So I'm going to try it on this one. You notice when you go to glue, if you glue it flat, they're going to match up. But when you fold the book, this is sticking out. So before you glue it, after you get this glued in so that your spine is good and solid, you're going to very carefully trim down. this part that'll stick out once it's folded. It does it because it's inside. It's just that tiny much mit, bit larger by being inside. Oh my goodness. I just have to show you the ocean right now. I'm going to pick the whole tripod up and show you what I'm looking at out the window. Look at that ocean. Just Shining the sun back. That's Palace Verdes to the left and Catalina beyond. Catalina is 26 miles from shore. Okay, we're back. So I'm just going to. I think use some of this stuff, which is office glue. I'm, I know it's for paper. I'm assuming it's more similar to Elmer's all-purpose glue than the school glue, which we use for liquidizing and gluing things. Works very well for that. Because it's only for paper. That's why it's called school glue. It took me a while to figure that out. All right, so that's that. And I think I'm just going to press this stuff down. For now, and let that glue dry. Paperweight. Mm, I don't know if this stopped, but it's going to stop. I got a message that said the battery was low. So, anyway, yes. Paperweight. Paperweight. Paperweights. So here I have the uh, spine of what was I had planned to be the outside before. I'm putting inside here, and this spine also had been reinforced with the white piece that was cut off from here. So now here's the other kind where I've taken the white piece and cut it in half instead. I'm going to put all of these down inside, and just like uh, trimming your corners in sewing where you turn things. You clip these down so that they don't overlap. Once they get inside, right. so they're not going to overlap in a big bulge. Whereas here, you get, what are you going to do with all this stuff? all this stuff. So, what you're going to do with all that stuff is always when you've got corners that are being folded in you just trim them. There you get a neater fold. Okay. So now, this other one right now, I did trim down the one side here, and I put padding in it. I wonder... Th 
this does feel just slightly flimsy. So I do want something else inside there. This isn't glued together yet, but I see what I need to trim. And I'd rather trim things before they're glued because I don't like getting glue on my scissors or on my blades. These are some utility scissors that open cans are for the kitchen. I might use them for everything, but they're good for cutting cardboard. Sniff. Okay, so then I'll be gluing this next. Oh, yeah, I want to put something inside. Well, next time I'm back, I'll have something else to try inside. I have uh, the fillings for a dozen of these cut out. There we go. That'll be good. And this one... Am I taping? Yeah. So I have my scissors on a slight bit of a slant as well, so that the inside will be an inch a bit smaller than the outside as well. And here, this gets into this fancy cutting because I want to be able to see this. And There. I need to stop doing this and turn off the television. I know it's annoying in the background. I've done these silently. It might have been nicer. But also I can I haven't tried taping over yet. Um It's just some disturbing news where we've been headed for a long time. And let me show you what it looks like out over the water again. I'm going to turn off the television, go back out into the living room to be working. I'm putting together some signatures out there. You can't really see how very bright that reflection on the water is. It's like white light if I go up into the sky it helps a little on the ocean you see it's quite dark blue that's the ocean over here where the sun is not shining directly on it and over here there's where it's shining on the ocean how bright hope you like that
something I'd love to share.